Another concept in physics, which we may have used a term for in, in popular speech, is kinetic energy. So we've heard about uh, something being extremely kinetic, or we've heard about something having a lot of energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. We haven't really defined what it is, but qualitatively, we'll think of it as something that describes the motion, or uh, energy in general is something that has uh, the potential to have motion. Kinetic energy refers to those things that have motion. We will define kinetic energy K as one-half times the mass of an object times its speed squared. K also has units of joules. In other words, if you multiply all the base units together, there is a kilogram for the mass and a meters per second quantity squared. So it has the same joules uh, derived unit as work does. If you look at the four examples of an object moving at a speed below, I would like you to try to rank them from the, the largest to the smallest kinetic energy. Well, the largest kinetic energy is B. It is a large mass, 2 kilograms, moving at a large speed of 2 meters per second. Now the question is, what's the second largest kinetic energy here? Well, that's A. Although A is a lower mass object, only 1 kilogram, it's still moving at 2 meters per second. And it's uh, the quantity of speed is squared in calculating kinetic energy. So although B has a kinetic energy of 1 half times 2 times 2 meters per second squared, or four joules, the case of A has a, a kinetic energy of two joules. In other words, I square the speed, two meters per second is four times the mass, it's still four, and I have to multiply by a half, I get two. The third largest kinetic energy will be answer D. In this case, the velocity is one meters per second squared, uh, one meters per second, and so if I square that, that's still one. I multiply by two, and I have two. Uh, but I must divide by another half, or I multiply by half, and so I have a kinetic energy overall of one joule. The smallest kinetic energy is answer C, because both the, the mass and the speed are one, and therefore the overall kinetic energy is a half of a joule. If I drop two objects, A and B, and they have the, not exactly the same mass, a, let's say A is heavier by a factor of two, uh, as B, then what would be true of the speeds as they reach the ground? Well, we know that in the field of gravity, all objects have the same acceleration. Well, we know that all objects in the field of gravity have the same acceleration. So if you drop them with zero speed initially, then they will reach, they will accelerate up to some speed at, this, at the end, and it will be the same. It's because all, G is this acceleration of all objects near the surface of the Earth. So actually, the correct answer here is A, that they will have the same speed. Now, what will be true of their kinetic energies of the, as they reach the ground? Well, in this case, since A weighs twice as much as B, or has twice the mass, then the correct answer here is answer B, that the kinetic energy of A will equal twice the kinetic energy of B.